I had a couple of people ask me about the tension and what I felt about, you know, auto tension and whatnot. But once you figure the machine out, man, tension ain't as scary as as you uh, make it to be. It's, it it give you a little leeway, and I'm saying this because look, I don't even. That's supposed to be behind there. I got it. I got it threaded wrong. And he's been going like this the last 20 minutes. So, you know, and I know that's the first thing we go to is tension. Well, we thinking, you know, when we keep getting thread breaks, we want to start turning these knobs. But, man, it's, you know, if it's been working, it's probably not the tension necessarily, but, you know, some men are some skin. Uh, thread could come, be coming off. We want a lot of other things, but, uh, you know, go over those other things before you start turning those knobs. These tension, what I feel about tension? I'm not, I'm not gonna buy a machine just because it has olives. That's not gonna be my, that's not gonna be a selling point for me. Uh, because, you know, once you, look, once you get the figure in your machine, you can touch that thread. And this, this is metallic. All right, y'all? It's metallic coming off of you. So you can touch that machine and see uh, if it's, if it's doing what it's supposed to do. This is a full, full uh, back jacket. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to show y'all, man. This thing's still running. It ain't even threaded right. All right, clearly not threaded right. Going over that bomb. So, this child is breaking. See how you got that flip, flop, 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 flop. That's dangerous. That's like hearing that. And that thread jumping all crazy like that, you know. It's some thread issues, but it'll still go.